Magnus, you here? Ifu! Ifu! Hurry up! I'm, I'm coming! Alright, alright, no time to explain. We need to get the hell in there. Okay. Okay, you got everything? You yes, good? You good? I have my knife. Okay. Oh, sure, yeah. Never know what Dad's gonna throw at us. Okay. We got all my books and stuff. Yeah, I got everything with me. Got everything there. Yep, 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 yep. And you yep. should have packed before you left. I, I did, and then I went to go find you. I was here. Okay, we'll argue about it once we get through the realm, all right? Here we go. You ready to go? You ready? Yeah, yeah, you ready? Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. three, two, one, jump! <laughs> oh, jeez. Freaking portal always is a pain in the butt to get through. <sighs> You doing good? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I wonder, where the heck did it spit us out this time? Hmm. I do recognize Why this place. Why is it random every time? I don't know. Dad set it up that way so that well, people who are trying to track him. Yeah, I know. It is dumb, but it, it's like a security protocol. I mean, I don't understand it. Uh, hmm. Well, where did exactly did they... It's night. Uh, no, it's kind of chilly. Ugh. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. God, I wish they gave us, like, warmer clothes when it came to nighttime. Mm. But, if I'm not mistaken, this place does bring back memories, huh? Yeah. I don't know, we used to run around these, uh, these sand hills, like, every single day. You know. I think I fell off a hill once. Uh, I, think I think it was more that than one. one. That one up there? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. That one's pretty steep. Yeah. I bet you, you I fell, fell off trying that to get one, you. though. Oh, yeah. I, I think I can even still see my imprint. <laughs> yeah, this does bring us back. Back to much easier times. When people weren't being attacked by freaking books and stuff. And also back when uh, Dad used to talk to us. Oh. Well, that's why we're here. Right? <sighs> yep, that's why we're here. To figure out what the hell's going on with us. Mm -hmm. I still have no idea. These tales make absolutely no sense. My ears growing tall, eyes changing color. Everything just doesn't make sense for me. Are you nervous talking to him? I don't know. It's just... I don't know. Like, how is he going to treat us? I mean, the last time I talked to him, he, I kind of threw him to the side because I wanted to grab the Book of the Dead for you. Hmm. But that was... Seems like months ago now. I wonder what he's doing. I hope he's not mad. Well, I mean, if he was mad, he would have sent out a complete battalion of undead people from the underworld to come get the book back, but he never did. Hmm. I, I don't know. I'm just... I feel like he is a good guy, but he's also just really bad at it. Like, as explaining it. But at the same time, I feel like he actually is kind of a bad guy. Kinda. But I guess, God of Death, it makes sense. Good guy, bad guy kind of situation. Yeah, I know. It also doesn't help the fact that the way that he treats the underworld is completely the wrong way that I feel. Yeah. I know, he treats every single soul so badly. But I mean, you know, like, just your experiences at camp, you know that there are good souls out there. Why do they have to be punished as well? I don't know. Maybe yeah, that... they're not actually as good as we thought. Or maybe just dad's really bad at judging souls. Hmm. No, maybe he just feel, sees it one way so that he could be all lazy about the different souls. If everyone's bad in his eyes, he doesn't have to treat anybody good. Everything's the same. And if anything, I think it's a pain in the butt. Yeah. <sighs> Make sure you watch your step, Magnus. I won't fall this time. I've learned my lesson. Good. 
Good. It does feel good to finally be on some Egyptian sand, though. I don't know, the freaking marble from the Greeks and the weird wood from the Asian cultures. I don't know, nothing beats just sand floor. Mm -hmm. It's nice and smooth. I can already sense Dad's energy already. That I think way? we might be getting close. It's... Yep, it's right over here. I didn't realize the portal actually sped us up so close. Maybe Dad was ex expecting us this time. Maybe. It makes me wonder if he's actually watching us at all times. Crazy Dad. It's... Well, I guess that's one thing we can ask. There's a lot of things I actually want to ask. <sighs> if he'll on, listen. Magna. If you'll listen. That's a good question. It's a good statement. Yep. Here's the entrance. This little layer to the underworld. Looks like it hasn't been open for a couple thousand years. So it's it makes all... me feel like Dad hasn't really left at all. Hmm. Do you remember the right way of getting in? Um... It's that, um, the gray button right there. If you press that gray button at the same time as me, the door should open. Oh. Okay? Okay. All right. Let me do this. Can you reach it? Yeah. yeah, I'm right here. Can you reach it? Yeah. Okay. All right. On my mark. Three, two, one, go! <sighs> I think that should do it. There it seems to be opened. It took freaking forever. Ugh. Oh. All right, watch your step. Watch your step. I don't know the last time that this thing was open. Um, it's a bit of a drop. Uh, let me see. How bad? Uh, I think we got this. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah, you're good. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Well, at least it seems that the place is still lively, but where the hell is Dad? Dad! Dad. It's me, Impu, Magnus. We need to talk to you. Dad? Is he not Man. here? Where else would he would have been? That's where he always is. Dad, where are you? Hello? We need to talk. Hello? Dad, where the hell are you? Are you sure he's still in here? It's been at least a thousand years since the last time we saw him. Well, where else would he be? This is the Underworld's throne room after all. Who dares enter my lair? Beep. Speaking of the devil... Dad, it's us. Hmm? Why should I believe it's my children? Huh? What do you mean by that? Yeah, what the hell is he talking about? Of course it's us. Who else would it be? Anyone. How do I know that you're not just a spy trying to take the throne? Okay, Dad. I know you're not the brightest, but this is a new level of stupidity here. How do you not recognize your own children? Maybe it has to do with our tails? Well, maybe they're different, but the fronts of us are still the same. Except for your arm. No, I, I mean, that's different, too. But do we actually look and feel different? Silence! You are not my children. What? You sense nothing like my children. You may look like them to an extent, may even sound like them and act like them, too. But you are not my children. What the hell, Dad? See, Dad, this is why we never visit you. <laughs> Guards, take care of him, I won't you. You've got to be kidding me. 
What should we do? The only thing we can do, we fight. Alright, that armor of yours better not slow you down. Whoa! Is that still you, Magnus? Uh, say something Magnus would say. Uh, ice cream. Yum. Impy is best brother, and Xylo's gross. Ha! <laughs> You're right on the last one. Good to see you were able to absorb some of the book's power. All right, let's do this. <sighs> all right. Let's see these guys. What yeah. they got? Oh, all right. Yeah. Take it down. Ah! That's happening. Wait. <sighs> Huh. One's in the water. Okay. You okay, Magnus? Go, Got Magnus, one. be careful! Come ah. back up here! Come back up! Come on! Huh. Only one of us already take it down. Get up here! Get up here! We can get a better vantage point on him. Take this! Ah. I don't think I have anything that can reach them. I think it's okay, though. Are they gone? I guess so. We already defeated so quickly. Did Dad really want us to fight these guys? Uh, Is that it? Hello? Hello? Uh, Alright, I gotta get out of this form. This thing is draining me way too much. <sighs> Already done. That was kind of boring. Talk about Dad's royal guards. That was easy for you? <sighs> Lucky. Well, anyways, I think that's it for them. Now on to the real problem. Yeah, Dad, what was that about? Dad, you have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> now that's my children. Teach them what's up. Huh? You two are silly. You think I wouldn't recognize my own children? Even with a few changes since the last time you came here, I knew it was you two all along. Then what was that all about? Why did we have to fight those guys? We nearly killed them. Oh, don't worry about them, my offspring. They'll be fine. They were under a protection spell. Didn't really take any real damage. Yeah. All right, now it definitely doesn't make sense what's going on here. What do you want about, Dad? My dear children, this was nearly a test for you both. A test? For what? Before explaining, why don't we talk for a bit? How's camp? Is Solus treating you well? How's your fiance Brian doing? Solus is as dumb as ever. Found a new addiction to sweets and ice cream though. And Brian's doing great. A little worried about me for this trip, but besides that, uh, way, how do you know about him? <laughs> My dear boy, I know everything that's going on with you two. I've known for over a thousand years. Explain. Impu, do you know about this shadow ability you have? You know, the one with the eyes? Yes, I do. It kind of just activates on its own. I don't really have any control over it. And it saves my tail. I mean, tails a lot. Have you ever taken into consideration how it's activated? How it always knows something is going to happen? Wait, don't tell me. <laughs> all those times, my dear boy, it's all because of me! Wait, you're my shadow ability? That's kinda creepy. My dear Rimpu, my dear Magnus, I've been watching over you for a very long time. Watching you grow up from when you were just first little puppies to what you are now. I can fully say I'm so proud of you both, and it pains me that I wasn't able to be there by your side through all these years. Yeah, you kind of left us. Threw us to the side for work, never saying hi or even checking in on us, and even now we still don't even see you. Why should I be listening to anything you're saying right now? <sighs> Something I've been keeping in mind for these years, wondering what would be the right time to tell you both. And I believe the time is now. Yeah, spit it out. The truth is, I've been with you all your lives. In spirit, even now I'm with you. But never physically. 
The reason for that is, I have been dead for a very long time. Wait. Wait, dead? It's very hard to explain. My physical form has been gone for a long, long time, but my spirit and soul still linger. I've been watching you two grow up ever since it happened, but only able to communicate to Wimpy through his so-called eyeshadow ability. You're only able to talk to me directly now since you're in my chambers, but outside of it, I won't be able to talk to you at all. This is a lot to take in. It kind of feels like a bad excuse for not parenting, right? I understand you don't have to trust me right away. You don't have to believe me, but it is the truth. Wish I could have told you years ago, but I couldn't. I lack the power to do so. You left us when we were kids. You left us to fend for ourselves. And now you seek forgiveness? Yeah, you don't know how much it hurt me and Impy. I know. I understand the two of you deserve a better father than I could ever be. But know that I care and love for you both. Very, very much. Hm. So what now? You expect us to forgive you that easily? It was a lot to take in for many years, you know. I know. I understand it was tough. But I can give you something that might make you fully happy. If you let me. What? Depression? <laughs> Magnus. What is it? All your lives have been watching you grow up and see if you can become what you were always meant to be. And I think both of you are ready to take my throne. What do you... My children, Impu, Magnus, both of you are to become what I once was. You both are to become Pharaohs of the Underworld. Pharaohs, Pharaohs of, of the, the Underworld? underworld? We're supposed to take over what you've done? What do you expect me to exactly do? You know how I feel about what you've done with souls down here. Yes, I understand everything that I've done was wrong. The way I treated souls, the path to the afterlife, all wrong. I think the both of you know how to put it into the right path, though. Yeah. If I were the rule, I would start by making that stupid maze journey through the underworld an easy one. Too many good souls die because of the terrible journey. Yeah, and I bet you they were nice people. Probably knew how to make ice cream real good, too. <laughs> I understand. Maybe the underworld does need a change of pace. And you two would be the perfect dogs to run it. Do you agree? Hmm. It's gonna be a lot of thinking. Let's do it. That quick to an answer? Yeah. What Dad said was true. I can sense he was telling it the whole time. He isn't a bad person, Impy. He does care about us. And now he trusts us with this. Are, are you sure? Positive. If I'm with you, we can do this. Together. <laughs> I did say I would always believe in you. So I guess I have no other choice. Dad, we agree to your terms. Excellent. Excellent. Now stand still. I'm going to be using what little energy I have left here. Whoa, I look pretty. Yeah, a little flashy for me, but I kind of dig it. Oh, one more thing. The new pharaoh shouldn't be going around with only one arm. Whoa, it's back. Well, feels weird, but I got my arm back. Think of it as your own personal shadow. No energy strain, and it's like it never left you. It feels amazing. Uh, uh, thank you, Dad. Shy, are we? It's all right. I know you care. Shut up, Dad. So we're pharaohs. What now? Your first decree as pharaohs is to return back to camp. You have that wedding after all, Impu. 
duh, I can't miss that. I'll be watching you two again, but I know you'll be fantastic pharaohs. You have a new home in camp too. Enjoy, my children. A new home? I can't wait. Impu, we gotta see. I'll be sending you back now, my children. It was great to talk to you again. I'll love you both. I love you too, Dad. Love you, Dad. <laughs> I trust to lead our Egyptian underworld to new heights. Wait, 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 Dad, before we leave, what's going on with our tails? Tails? Oh, yeah, it's from your mother's side. Mother? Who's that? I'll tell you when you're older. Enjoy, my children. Older? Now you listen here! Whoa. What the frick? Wait, this is ours? It's so cool. What? I, I didn't realize it was going to be this big. I mean, compared to like that little junk heap that our dad was coked up in. So, this! Hello? Well, be careful, be careful. There's Where so are you many going? stairs. What How big heck? is this place? This is so pretty, I will admit. What the? Mm. All right, be careful, be careful, be careful. I don't know where this place leads us. Look, <laughs> look. Where, 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 where are you? You can see the camp from here. Can you? Yeah. Wait, let me see. Whoa, okay. Yeah. I didn't recognize those trees from anywhere. What the heck? So this is right next to the camp. Wow. I guess the... Where are you from? I guess Dad must have used some energy or something to put a freaking pyramid here? Yeah. Ugh. What? Oh, be careful. Be careful. You good? Oh, my God. There's so much room to decorate, too. Uh, yeah, there is tons. I mean, I guess we're putting all of our stuff in the camp in here. <gasps> Wait, we'll finally get out of a closet. For once, yes, we'll finally get out. Ugh, God, I don't even care what Mikhail has to say. This is our place, and this makes Mikhail's place look like a freaking pigsty. I hope no one wants to move in. Mm, uh, I guess maybe Solus would want to. Solus is okay. Yeah, I, I feel like Solus is the only one. Brian's definitely going to come over a couple times. He has especially his own the giant house. True. Oh, come on. I, I told him, too, that I would move in with him if we uh, after the mar uh, marriage, too. Mm. That means I'll have this whole house to myself. Well, I'm still going to be living here, you know. Mm -mm. You're going to go place, move too? in with Brian. But then you'll get lonely. I can visit. And you can visit. But this is my house. Mm. <laughs> fine. Fine, fine, fine. We can have the game corner, a ki mm -hmm. a giant kitchen. With yeah, we can have more than just ice cream. For ones, we got pizza in here too. <gasps> Lots of pizza. Lots of pizza. We need a giant, like you know, like like shower bathhouse so we can wash the, our tails and stuff like that. <sighs> I mean, we could use this, but I don't know where this water is coming from. Uh, is this even drinkable? I'm gonna assume. I'm going to guess not. Ugh, I'm all wet now. Uh, what did you expect? Freaking I just silly. wanted to put my hand in and I fell in. You got to be freaking silly. You're fine. So, I don't know. How do you feel being, I guess, a pharaoh now? It's weird. Yeah. Weird is definitely a good way of describing it. I mean, do you like it? Do you read it? I could get used to it. Okay. <sighs> I think I could get used to it, too. Did you notice anything about, like, our power? Didn't it seem like it just shoot up after we started wearing these? A little. I feel like, holy crap, I can sense energy now. 
I think it sends people's auras from from across the camp. Who has the strongest aura? Who has the strongest? Hmm. Who has the strongest? Ooh, that one's a toughie. Because I'm I could feel soulless, but you know, he's got like that hidden rage thing, and that thing's ridiculous. Oh. But then you got Nad, who also has that rage thing that's ridiculous. Oh. But then also you've got... Wait. Is that freaking Zylo? Why the hell does he have an aura? He, well, he is the son of Hades. Maybe he's got some tap power that we didn't even know he had. I mean, for crying out loud, all he does is just use a bunch of swords. But he does know incantations. Yeah. But it looks like my ears are still working the same. And I can hear that freaking Solus is eating again. Ice cream! It's midnight! Is, is, I know, but... Ice cream time is all the time, apparently, to him. Huh. Uh, and it's, I could hear him chew again. Uh, just, it just, stop. just, just ignore it. I, dude, he's so disgusting. He's trying to talk to Scar. He's just like, no, oh, yeah, he's so much world well gone. Uh. It's so freaking disgusting. Uh. Well, I guess I'm going to have to whack him with the book again with this arm. You can use your original bookwhacking arm. <laughs> oh, ooh. I want to admit that feels that feels really weird. That did feels you, really weird. Did you learn to write with your left hand this whole time? Uh, I mean, I thought I would have to. But well, I mean, you, you I've always be, been righty. You can be ambidextrous or whatever the term is. No, that sounds about right. Ambidextrous? Yeah. I mean, I can, but... It just feels weird. It's like, you know, using this right arm again. It feels like a tail. It feels like a completely new muscle that I have to relearn. And thankfully, uh. I'm able to move my fingers pretty well. I can hold objects. I mean, this book is pretty easy to hold on to. But it's, it, it feels strange. But at the same time, I'm happy. I'm happy to have it back. Mm -hmm. And I'm just happy we were able to get uh, some good you know, talk with dad. Yeah. Guess he's not that much of a bad guy, huh? Guess not. He really did care. I'm shocked more than anything, but it makes sense. He's been watching us this whole time. Yeah. Well, thank you, dad. We'll make sure that, uh, <laughs> we'll make you proud. We promise. Yeah.